Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch to the latest iOS. So to get started right away, let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, you will see your very first option, We might say your device's name or your own name. From there, do a backup using iCloud. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Just hook it up to your computer and use iTunes on your PC or on Mac. You guys can use Finder in order to make that backup and update if you're having any problems. Once you have done that backup, just scroll down and you will see general. Under general, your second option will be software update. Under software update, we should see this 13.6, which is the latest one right now. Now, not all of you will see download right away. You might only see install and that's okay. That just means it already downloaded for you and it is less than half a gig. It's only 311.4 megabytes. So this is a quite fast update. So even if you guys have slow internet, this will go pretty fast for most of you. So right now we're just gonna tap on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. If you don't have a passcode, it's not gonna ask. You're just gonna go right into it. So right now it's gonna download the update and then install it. It's very important that it doesn't turn off once you're in the process of installing because then it gets serious and we are gonna have to restore your whole iDevice if anything goes wrong. However, that's exactly why we made this backup, just in case something goes wrong. So make sure you have at least 50% of your battery in order to do this. And even if you guys have, let's say 98% of your battery, I would still suggest hooking up some electricity. That way you make sure nothing bad happens. As you guys can see, this update will be fairly fast. It's only gonna take a couple minutes and then we're done. So yes, the first stage will be downloading. If in the downloading process, it does turn off for any reason, don't worry about it. Downloading can just restart and that's it. However, if this turns off for any reason, once it's installing the update, then we might get a huge error in the software itself and we will have to restore it. That means erase everything from within our iDevice and then load it back in since we did make that backup. But that's only the worst case scenarios. What we usually do see is an Apple logo later on, a loading bar, and then it's just gonna restart and then we're done. So it's gonna be pretty fast and that's usually how this is done. It's always that loading bar, the Apple logo, a black screen, and then it's just gonna turn on. Like I mentioned before, this update will only take a couple minutes for some of you. If you guys have really fast internet, Sure, you're not looking at more than five minutes. However, for most of you, this could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. And that's, again, just a maybe because it does depend on your internet speed. And it also depends which iDevice you guys have. Newer iDevices will take shorter time since they are a little bit faster. So after just a few minutes, we should see just this install now. So let's just tap on install now. And it's gonna verify and then it's gonna just restart black screen. After that, we should see, like I mentioned before, an Apple logo and a loading bar. This is gonna load pretty fast and then we're gonna be pretty much done. So after an Apple logo, a black screen, we should see this. And then we just put in our passcode and from there we're done. That would be it for this update. Everything should be running smooth and just as before. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.